Welcome back, Vikings. I'm Anju Asner. And I'm Camille Rivard. And we are here to bring you the news you need to know, want to know, and should know to get you through your week. Thank you for everyone who participated in this year's food drive. With your help, we were able to greatly surpass the original goal of 10,000 points by over five times with the end total being 56,360 points. And now for the top three classes. In third place, Mr. Cockle's class with 5,900 points. In second place, Mr. Brinker's class with 8,830 points. And in th first place, the class who earned the most points with Mr. Limerick's class with 11,065 points. Thank you again for all your help and incredible job, Vikings. Congratulations, seniors. This is your year, and this is why we hold this special section of the yearbook for you, your family, and your friends to honor you at this exciting time. The back of the yearbook is a place reserved for the senior class and their family and friends to celebrate. The senior ad deadline is January 4th, 2022. Check out the Viking Vanguard on Instagram to get more information. Looking for more volunteer hours? Check out JustServe.org. You'll find volunteer opportunities within the community. Since the musical just wrapped up playing, we at Viking Student Media went behind the scenes to discover how they prepared for such a performance. After over a year since the last theater production here at PHS, Susical is finally here. But what is Susical? Susical is a musical that is based on several, I don't remember the exact number, but several Dr. Seuss stories and they've kind of been knitted together. We asked Theo Stone, Kendall Clifton, and Hunter Harvick about their experience with the show. Well, I've always been a bit of a sucker for like family stories. And uh, my character, Horton the Elephant, spends his journey very much learning how to sort of be a father and preparing for fatherhood. It's very word heavy, but I really enjoy all of the music that goes into it. Um, all of the songs are really like, they're just spectacular, the melodies are great. Um, and also just all the people that are in it, you get to really incorporate a lot of people with a lot of different speaking and singing parts in this musical and I really enjoy that. The characters are super distinct and there's like these distinct groups of like jungle creatures and who's um, and then like kind of characters that tell the story while they're also in the story, like my character and some of the other characters we get to narrate while also being in it. And it's really cool that it also intertwines with all the music, it's very fun. If you want to come see Susical, there's still a chance. There will be one show each this week on the 18th, 19th, and 20th at 7 p.m. Admission is $12. This has been Leah Schieser for Viking Student Media. Unified Basketball starts Monday, November 22nd, and we are looking for Unified partners to join our team. Unified Sports joins students with and without disabilities on the same team, training together and playing together. All levels of skills are welcome. We practice once a week and have games on Saturdays in January and February. If you are interested in joining our Unified Basketball team, please see Coach Gallen in Student Services. Need to talk to your counselor? Walk-in times for quick appointments are before school, during lunches, and after school. If you need a little more time, you can make an appointment by stopping by Student Services during those times. And now over to Allie Larkin with the sidelines. Hello, Vikes. Welcome back to the sidelines. The Puyallup girls bowling team won their match versus Bethel 1,484 to 1,450. Abby Nyberg was the top bowler for PHS, averaging 158, and dominated as the closer in two Baker games. Their next match is November 30th at Daffodil Bowl versus Emerald Bridge. Huge congratulations to Maya Cleese on becoming the 2021 500 meter freestyle swim state champion. She also broke a school record in the 100 meter breaststroke, finishing fourth with a time of a minute 4.66 seconds. Good job to all the cross country boys who competed in the PNW Regionals this weekend. Thanks for joining me on the sidelines and good luck to all of our Viking athletes shying out for winter sports this month. Thanks for watching this week's episode of VNN. Stay purple bikes.